She was in the same room? How could it be? I know that room well. We have searched every inch of it. Unless she was hanging on the ceiling right above us. But, as I said, she always finds herself the best seat. To be someone who can smile knowingly at the argument made by the lecturer. Knowing full well the thinking process behind. While staying close to other whispering opinions. Like a perfect observatory from which we witness the events in the universe. <gasps> Maybe I've been in the wrong direction. She didn't make the star fall as revenge on the village. Mr. Shemaine, she was not on the ceiling. Are you taking me seriously? That was just a joke to lighten up the mood. But under the ground. Remember the underground survival guide where we found this photo? She's right under that house. First to the corner. This is crazy. It has gone beyond my imagination. Sorry, but you don't have to come with me. <sighs> Say no more on that. If you don't let me see my own sister, I will be dying for answers. Who would dig a basement here? That reminds me, her curiosity is one of the, well, the major reason she did that. It's possible that she was well prepared last time she came back to Morpum. I never thought she foresaw that we would be kicked out from the project. And as you just deduced, she did so to see that star? Almost a hundred percent sure. Without me? She must have asked the manus to support her with arcane skills. This way. She was extremely mentally unstable when she left me. It wouldn't take any effort if the manus had the intention to recruit her. Watching the meteor shower and being destroyed by it has been her plan all along. At this point, it is hard to say who's worse, she or we, since we have prepared to die with her evil plan. However reluctant I am to admit this, sometimes our canis are indeed strange creatures. <laughs> it's like a madhouse party. <laughs> but, uh... What did you teach Matilda before we left? That's our only chance to survive in the realm. I came up with it when I was calculating the range of the fallen star damage. Hmm. As I said, you are the tiger cub, trying to take a bite in the arm, even when the hunter has had you in her grip. That method was between Kumar and me. 
there is another theory according to my calculation. If there are more observers, the realm might collapse. It's the only theory Kumar does know. At the same time, it is not yet strictly verified. But I have faith in that girl. She's indeed a genius. I hope it's not too late to make our last attempt. Hmm. If you ask me, it's not yet the time to make that attempt. What? Ha ha! This must be the appetizer she served us! <sighs> Great Shiva! I hope your fists feel as light and crispy as Pani Puri when they land on my body. Hey, give me a chip. Just one with the lowest denomination. I know. My child, here's something fun for you. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, mi amigo. Let's dance. <sighs> Stop. Do this. Take it yeah, easy. I know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> need me to get you guys. Hey! Now. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, mi amigo. Let's dance. Now we need to see this. Handle it gently. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be Try shy. Try for free! Try for free! Dance! Bloody now, prop! Handle it gently. You lucky guess. The ocean dried and I'm alone again. <laughs> They are much naughtier than the Foundation's kids. <sighs> That's tough. Hey, look over there. It is empty down there. The shower is estimated to fall at 4 a.m. today. By then, the comet will also... Three and a half hours to go. Oh, almost forgot about this. Music. Fine. It's not too high for <coughs> me. <gasps> Q. 
个梦儿。What What happened to you? Oh well, I didn't expect so many visitors. But since you're here, please take a seat. I built this place by myself. It's not a big room, and not soundproof. Yes, I heard you very clearly under the ground when you searched the room and went through my stuff. What's wrong about? An astronomer reading, calf feeding, and management. You, you should have left. My plan has ch- changed. Let it be. Let it be. What do they call this? Destiny. You know about destiny, right, Caliborna? Watching the stars with me. Good, good. It's like living the old days again. Kumar, sister. <laughs> sister, sister, sister. You looked much better in the realm. What did the manis do to you? The manis? Oh, they're fine. Helps me a lot. Impressive arcane skills, experiment apparatus, and food. Lots of food. These, oh. Seems like she's no longer capable of commanding those wandering madness. But the priority is to stop that star. We can deal with the rest. The star? You're going to stop. The comet. You are taking it from me again, Kumar. Ah! I will never. I will never let anyone set their hands on it. Dental checkup. Handle it gently. I know. My child, here's something fun for you. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, mi amigo. Let's dance.
do this to you. Take it yeah. easy. I know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> need me to get hey. an ambulance? Ta-da! Time for a special massage. Handle it gently. Ooh, Take it easy. <laughs> Ta da! Time for a special massage. They are much naughtier than the Foundation's kids. I, I'm gonna throw up. <coughs> it feels strange in here. <coughs> Was that Master's face? I can keep up. It's hard to get used to it for the first time. I feel a lot better in here. I'm sorry, Calabona. I don't think this body of mine can hold any longer for a more appropriate meeting in the real world. I'm glad you came back for me. What I said was indeed too harsh. Kumar, why do you have to? Look at you. The price is too high. Hmm. In the first instance, I did have other intentions. I kept imagining how my so-called parents would react when they were about to get crushed to pieces by the star. Little did I know, they have already paid for what they've done. I worked myself to the bone. But who knew I would lose everything, including my purpose? It really sucks. But it's okay, just a minor setback. Compared to what I've been through, it's not even worth mentioning. That's why I changed my mind. I want to see it. To see it. The star we can't see with our eyes. Seems like I was not very careful about my wording when my mind was clouded. It is a celestial body, Kalabuna, not a star. It could even be a moving black hole. I'd rather you did this out of the hatred towards the people who abandoned you, or even towards me. For I carelessly exposed my identity as an arcanist, and thus you lost you. I wish the same. I wish so badly that I could just be filled with pure hatred towards someone. But I can't, kid. You're the lucky one, young brother. I was going to kick your butt in our last encounter, but <laughs> I just couldn't do it. But the madness has made you. K. 
kid, Banning University can get my name on the SCI list while the Manus allows me to touch the universe. They are not that different to me. Sister, Mother told me about this. You physically can't take such a great amount of Arcanum in you. The Manus should also know this. I appreciate that they remembered this about me. This is the path I chose. When I look into the sky, I feel myself the freest being in the world. The universe. What a vast, life-embracing place it is. No matter if you're a canist or a human, even a grain of sand. It encompassed everything. But I was driven away from studying it. Abandoned by my own family. For some insignificant, unimportant reasons. I should have understood this earlier. That my struggle means nothing on this planet. I'm tired. Kalapuna. Just want to see that celestial body with my own eyes. But Kumar? That's not how you look at a star. The telescope shouldn't be placed in a basement, and you shouldn't lower your head. Kumar. How long has it been since the last time you looked up at the night sky and the other stars? What's more? If the star falls, people in the village, including those kids, none of them will survive. The madness you summoned here has brought disaster to this place, to the people and their families. They are not the sacrifice of your wish. Stop heading down the wrong path, Kumar. You know what? I don't care about them. Just like they've never cared about me, haven't they? Sorry, please indulge me with one last will for act. This is the path I chose. And you can't stop me, Calabona. Hmm? It's Matilda. They made it. Hurry, quickly! You understand? Yes. That's what Miss Calabona taught me to do. Hmm. But I can't see anything when my eyes are closed. Don't rely on the eyes. Hold this crystal and take a deep breath. Do you feel, um, what she say? The change of the universe. The meteor shower is starting earlier.
What did you do? <coughs> That's the method only once known between you and me, Kumar. The observation method? You told others about the celestial egg? So what? I see. I see. You once pitched that research proposal to me. You are indeed my best student, Calabona. I finally understand why you asked me to keep it a secret. Even if we named it Egg, it's actually a projection of the universe which has the same feature. The universe is infinite. As long as we observe it self-consciously, think each of ourselves as one of the centers of the universe. The egg will then collapse because of multiple centers, until it puts a quietus on everything, including that star. A shattered mirror will never be pieced together again if there are enough forces to break it. Am I right? Then, there was neither existence nor non-existence. There was neither the realm of space nor the sky beyond. Who could master these skills? Those old foggies in the village? A genius girl. And a bunch of kids who looked up at the stars. I'm sorry, Kumar. I have to... No, we have to stop you this time. I can't let you destroy more punk. Or destroy yourself. Even the infortune may reverse what's irreversible. <gasps> Either do it quickly, or hold her off. The realm will collapse once the observation starts. And I believe in Matilda. Don't rush in. She seems to be waiting as well. She's accumulating power. Hmm. The mark's on her. My chat. As the nebula collapses, no watching eyes will survive the destruction. But you should remember, it's not eyes that our observation relies on. My sword shot. No one else. Take it easy. Yeah, I know. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. <sighs> Flying handbag for only 3,000 Perpidontes. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, mi amigo. Let's dance. I believe in you. Handle it gently. Do this. Relax. Hmm, a little bit hot here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> need me to get you guys an it's ambulance? Not a sense of mental
My sword shot. No worries. Take it easy. Yeah, I know. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Hey, don't resist. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, mi amigo. Let's dance. No worries. Handle it gently. Do the seeds. Come back to me. Hey, don't resist. Hmm, a little bit hot here. Ta-da! Time for a special massage. Take it easy. Yes, I know. Now, let me choose two lucky guests. Flying handbag for only 3,000 paper donties. <laughs> Need me to get you guys an ambulance? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is no magic, nor any special kind of mechanic. It's just luck. And take it easy. Do this. The ocean dried, and I'm alone again. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ta da! Time for a special massage. Sister! I only wanted to see that star. Why did you stop me? Why? Ah! Uh. Oh. I believe in you. Depict the world I have I believe in you. It will all be fine. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Each moment, now night. I smell the scent of mint oil. <laughs> Intentarlo de nuevo? No worries. We need some peace now. now. Bloody prom! You lucky guess. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no magic, nor any special kind of mechanic. It's just luck. The ocean dried and I'm alone again. <laughs> My 
my sword sharp depict the world I have never seen before. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Thank you for your cooperation. Each moment, now night. <laughs> Need me to get you guys an ambulance? us to leave the research data behind so that you can make it yours? No worries. Now, Lunch is too lucky. Take pickle. it easy. Relax. Now, yeah, I know. Handle it gently. Please, don't resist. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no magic, nor any special kind of mechanic. Wish us luck. If I can push it a little further. I have lost everything. I I don't understand. Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. You better take it. It's about to collapse! Gotta go now! Kumar! Kumar! Mr. Germain, you covered me. I'm fine. Pretty. Her realm has gone, taking that falling star with it. Tonight, only the meteor shower will sparkle in the sky. Kumar! Kumar! I'm still here, Kumar. How about we go back first? Go back? Yes, go back to the institution, to the university. There's no place I can go back to. 
Yes, there is. You can stay at my place. You can use my lab. We can start over. Sure. Really? You will? Let's go then. Leave this place first. But there are some papers I need to take with me. Let go of my arm. <sighs> okay. Mr. Sharma, Kumar says she'll come with us. She just needs to take some papers. It won't take long. Then there was neither death nor immortality. There was neither day nor night. Everyone has a place to go back to. What a nice world to live in. hope when the universe constructs me for a second time I will not come to this world again So this is what Chandigarh look like. It's Slay! What's this? Candy? This way! Come over here! Ah! So you're only an assistant? No wonder they made you go through so many procedures earlier. <laughs> what? So you was just rookie? <laughs> Shut up! I won't allow another word of it! You better be careful, otherwise you will regret your doings when you get to the foundation! <laughs> Miss Sherja and Mr. Sharma, thank you so much for helping our staff. Um, you flatter me. I just did what I could. No, madam. We've ascertained your achievement. Before this incident, you volunteered to help over ten arcanists and human children. And this time, you rescued more than 30 arcanists. That's remarkable, madam. What's this? A letter of introduction to the St. Pavlov Foundation.
I'm sure you know our branch in Chandigarh is already under construction. Such a responsible and caring human member like you will be very welcome. Please do consider this opportunity. According to the record, there's one more arcanist who also provided help for us in this mission. So, where is Miss Calabona? Oh, she's... That's weird. Oh. I think it's not a good time for her. They will be back after the meteor shower. My stomach full every day when I go to school. Yes, my twin detective, no so his good boy in a four. All right, people, don't be greedy. One wish only. <laughs> <laughs> 